everyone, good morning and welcome to Sweat Week 15. I can't believe it, as I say every week. Um, but welcome to this core workout. So thank you so much for tuning in even and joining me. So we're going to start on all fours. So let's get going. We're going straight in, <laughs> unfortunately for you. We're going to spread the fingers. We're going to just make sure the knees are hip distance apart and draw the navel in. We're just going to take a little rock forward and a little rock back. So just get a little bit of momentum and a little bit of weight into the hands. Take a nice big deep inhale through your nose. And as you exhale, just going to let it go through your mouth. And then from here, we're just going to take the fingertips to face back on one hand towards the knee. So we'll say if you're going to go with the right hand first, the fingertips just go back towards the knees. Take a big inhale through the nose. Let it go through your mouth. And then we'll just switch it up and we'll bring the fingertips in to face the other hand with the top of the hand facing down. And a big inhale. Big exhale. Excellent. And we'll just switch it up. We'll take the left fingertips, we'll take them towards the knees. Big inhale. Big exhale through the mouth. And then we'll take the fingertips and we'll face them in towards the hand on the right hand side. We'll take a big inhale. And then the next exhale, we'll just bring it back in, hand flat. Well done. With the knees hip width, we'll take the bum to heels, the chest to thighs, and we'll stretch in hair. The knees are hips distance apart, and just allow the forehead to release towards the earth. And then just take a big inhalation, fill up the back of the body with breath. Exhalation, softening the muscle. And then as you come forward, we're going to take down facing dog. We're going to tuck our toes under, send the hips up and back to downward facing dog. So welcome to this core flow. And we'll allow the shoulder blades to roll away from the ears. So try not to let them scrunch up around your ears. We'll take a big bend in the right knee and we'll straighten the left heel towards the earth. And then we'll just switch it up. We'll take a big bend in the right one, come into the tippy toes, and we'll bend the left one, taking the right heel towards the earth. So we're just warming up. Big inhalation. Exhalation, you're going to lower to your knees. Well done. We're going to find our elbows and set up for that lovely dolphin plank that we've, uh, we know too well now, I think, at this stage, don't we? It's good for you. <laughs> so you're in the forearms, our fingers are spread wide, we're going to stretch back on one foot and if we can we're going to stretch back on the other one. And we're going to think about bringing the elbows towards the toes. Take a big inhalation here. Big exhale. Big inhalation. Big exhalation. One more big inhalation. Exhalation. Lower to the knees. Uncurl the toes. Bum to heels, chest to thighs. Hair stretch. So we're just warming up a little bit in the belly area now. And the arms as well. As you know from me from Sweat Week 14. All the dolphin planks, and then we're going to come forward and we're going to do that once more. We're going to come onto the elbows, we're going to spread the fingers, and we're going to stretch back on one foot or both. We're going to try five breaths if we can. Draw the navel in. Exhale, pull the elbows towards the toes. Inhale, length through the spine. Exhale, strength. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Stay in with me. Inhale. I know it's hard. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Lower to the knees. 
Send the hips back in space, hair stretch. Well, release the forehead, breathe. And then when you're ready, find your downward facing dog. Ooh, send the hips back in space. Breathe here. We're going to lift our left leg high into the air, three-legged dog. Bend the knee and open your hip, taking your left toes towards the right shoulder. Opening the hip. And just see if you can square your shoulders towards the earth. And we're going to lift onto the tippy toes of the right foot as high as we can. Look forward. Bring the left knee forward towards the belly. And then let's hold here. I know it's hard. If you need to drop, that's fine. Lift the hips up. Lift the knee up towards the belly. And then if you can, step the foot through. Ooh, if you can't, don't worry. Just drop to your knee. That's fine. And then we'll just turn onto the pinky toe edge of the back foot and set up for warrior one, heel to arch. We're gonna wing the arms up, and lower on. <laughs> and we're gonna check the front knees over the ankle. Shoulders are over the hips, and then really push into the outer edge of the back foot. Big inhale here. Big exhale. Inhale, length to the spine. Exhale, sink down into the legs. One more. Inhale. Exhale. You're going to reach towards the front knee, taking the elbow to the thigh and the top arm lifts. Side angle. Draw the navel in. If you can, you're going to reach down towards your ankle. If not, you're going to stay up and that's fine as well. Breathe in here, deep inhale, big exhale. From here, gaze to look down, shift the back foot in to meet the front one. Either keep your hand on the floor, and if you can, bring it to the baby toe side of the foot, or you're balancing in the air. And we're going to lift, shift the weight, and lift the back foot to floating half moon. And we want to open our hip towards the side so that your whole body is turning towards the side. And if you can, you flex the foot and your top arm is going to lift up. And if you can't reach the floor, that's okay. You're going to come up and hold in the middle. And that's even harder. Take a big inhale. Exhale, we're going to reach for the floor. Turn the back hip down. Breathe in here, draw the belly in. And then either stay here or reach one arm back towards the back of the mat. And if you can, come up a little higher and reach the other one back as well so that you're in warrior three. And I'm nearly going through this plant pot here. Take a big inhalation, hips and shoulders square. Exhalation, you're just going to bring the feet together to fold forward, release your head. Well done, big inhale to rise. Palms touch. Exhale, float through the middle. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, bend your knees and fold forward over the legs, releasing your head. Inhale to a flat back, hands come to your shins or higher. Exhale, fold forward. We're going to step back into plank pose. So I always go lunge first and then the other foot. Full plank, shoulders over wrists, draw the belly back. And just think of one long spine right down to the heels. Lower to your knees, uncurl the toes, bend the elbows, your chest, your chin comes down. Lifting to cobra, peel the shoulders and upper belly up, or up dog. Slide your hips forward, squeeze the butt. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe here. Oh, and here we are, we're in the flow. <laughs> Breathe. Right leg lifts. Three like a dog. 
Bend the knee, open the hip. Keep the shoulders square towards the earth. Eye gaze to belly if you can. Now lift onto the ball of the left foot, high as you can. Look forward, drive the knee forward. See if you can hold it there. Now scoop up the belly, lift your knee up, and if you can, step it through. Well done. Turn onto the pinky toe edge, set up for warrior two, heel to arch, and then windmill your hands up. Breathe in here. Front knee is over ankle, draw the belly in. Exhale, sink down onto the legs. Twice more inhalation. Exhalation. Last one, you got it. Exhale. Inhale to reach to side angle, elbow to thigh. Top arm lifts. Breathe, really push into the other to the back foot. And if it's good, you're going for the ankle. Breathing deep here. And your top arm is going to open up level with the shoulder. Hand is going to come to the pinky toe edge of the foot and shift the back foot in. Or you might have your hand propped on the cushion or the air. Floating half moon, lift your back foot, opening your hip and your shoulder to the side. Two breaths, inhalation, exhalation. One more inhale. Exhale, both of the hands down under the shoulder, shift the weight so that the left hip goes down towards the earth, breathe. And if it's good, reach one arm back towards the back of the mat, or maybe both. Breathe in here. Lengthen through the fingertips. Breathe, deepen your inhale. Exhale, reaching both of the feet together to fold forward. Inhale, rolling up, hands touch. Exhale, hands float through. We'll take a vinyasa from here. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, bend your knees and fold forward over the legs. Inhale to a flat back, whatever that looks like for you. Exhale, fold forward. Plank pose, go to lunge, maybe on the other leg, and into plank. Now, if you do need half plank here, please feel free to take it because I don't blame you at this point. Draw the belly in. Exhale, lowering down the knees of Chaturanga, halfway. Up dog, inhale. Exhale, downward facing back. Well done. We're going to flow through that one more round on each side. We're going to be a little bit quicker. Deepen your breath. Left leg lifts, three-legged dog. Bend the knee, open the hip. Keep the shoulders square, draw the belly back. Lift onto the ball of your left toes. Gaze to look forward. Drive your knees, scoop up the hips. Step the foot through if you like. Breathe. Turn onto the outer edge of the back foot. Wind up warrior two. You got it. Oh, the sun's coming out. <laughs> Big inhale. Exhale, sink. Inhale. Exhale. Side angle. Inhale to reach. Elbow to thigh, top arm lifts. Or maybe reaching for the ankle. Deepen your breath here. Big inhalation. Big exhalation. Hand comes to the pinky toe, or you're going to stay up higher. Shift the weight into the back foot, hand under shoulder. If you can, lift off. Floating half moon. And if you're feeling brave, you might look up. I'm not feeling brave. I'm <laughs> feeling wobbly. Breathe. And then from here, the hands come down. You drop that hip to square towards the floor. You might bend into that standing leg. And then if it's good, warrior three, maybe just at one hand, or both. Breathe, hips and shoulders square. You might point the toe back, big inhale. This time as we exhale, we're going to lower and reach the hands to the floor. 
Well done, downward facing dog. Lower your vinyasa if you like, roll into plank. Exhale, half to the right, get full. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Well done. Take a big inhale. Lion's breath. Right leg lifts, three legged dog. We're going to keep this pace going. Bend the knee, open the hip. Keep the shoulders square, breathe. Lift up the ball of the left foot. Gaze to look forward, drive your knee forward. Shoulders on a wrist and pick up the hips. See if you can step the foot through. Well done. Turn them to the other edge of the back foot, line up heel to arch, and then windmill up to find your warrior two. So we're going to be strong in our warrior two. Really push into the outer edge of the back foot. Take a big inhale. Exhale, sink. One more inhale. Exhale. Inhale to reach. Elbow to your thigh, your top arm left side angle. Maybe you reach for the ankle if it's good. See how you feel. Every day is different. <laughs> and then open up your top arm. Floating half moon, hand to the pinky toe of the foot, shift the weight in. See so if you can lift your back foot. Gaze to either look forward or down, or if you want a real challenge, you might look up, and I just can't seem to look up today. <laughs> Big inhale. Exhale, just drop the hip and the hands down. Breathe steady your eyes. And then reach back one if you like, or both. You got it. Flying high, right? Inhale. Exhale. Reach for the floor. Well done. Step back. Down, face your back. Woo, we're doing good, guys. We're all through vinyasa or staying down. Gaze to look forward if whether you're on the knees or toes. Up dog. Open the heart. Exhale, downward dog. Breathe a little deeper, big inhale. Lion's breath, side out. Well done, lower to the knees. Send the hips back in space, hair stretch. I feel really proud of us today. <laughs> We're moving quick. Well done, and then you're gonna come forward and make your way onto the butt. I bet you, you know what's coming, right? <laughs> Bow pose, unfortunately. I did say we were going to include it a lot until we maybe enjoy it. Nah, we all enjoy it. <laughs> Hands by your hips. Bend the elbows to come back. Lift your chest. Try not to collapse and round. Try to keep lifting up. And then if it's good, you might take a hold of your legs, or you might lift one heel now, keeping the length, keeping the chest up, or both. Maybe you look up. Big inhale. Exhale. Maybe you lengthen the legs. Big inhale. Exhale. Maybe you need to bend them again. Big inhale. Exhale. Release the legs. Well done. That was three breaths. Can we do five? <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. You have to give it a try, right? Let's go again, set yourself up. Whatever feels better for you, leaning back but keeping length of the spine. Deepen your breath. Let go if you like. Breathing here, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, if you need to bend them, don't worry. Breathe. Two more. Can we lengthen? Yes, you can. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Well done. Release the legs. <laughs> Open the knees. Do what you got to do. And we're going to keep the flow going. The last thing we need to do is roll back and hug our knees in. Oh, if only we were just doing this. You're going to bring the toes to touch. So big toes touching, knees out wide. So it's kind of like butterfly legs. 
arms over shoulders. You're going to crunch up, reach between the knees, inhale, lift the shoulder blades away from the floor, and as you exhale, you're going to reach your arms back, lengthen your legs to 45 degrees, press your lower back to the floor. Inhale, exhale, you're going to curl up, reach between the legs, lift the shoulder blades off, inhale, Exhale, lengthen to 45, press your lower back to the floor. Inhale, exhale, curl up, lift the shoulder blades off. Inhale, exhale, 45 degrees, reach back. Inhale, exhale, crunch up. Inhale, exhale, reach back. See, can we try three more? Two more. Inhale. Reach up. Inhale. You got this. Last one. Inhale. Big reach. Inhale. Exhale. Hug the knees in. Well done. Oh, excellent. Rock on it all. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Hopefully that felt okay ish. <laughs> We are going to do that again, unfortunately, but we only have six reps, so six times and we're done. <laughs> we're going to join the big toes, knees up wide, arms over shoulders, crunch up. Exhale, reach back. Let's go quicker. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Three more, three more. Press the lower back to the floor as you reach the legs out long. Don't worry if you need to tap the floor the whole time, that's fine. One more. Well done, hug your knees in. Oh, and rock. Excellent. Let's just hug our left knee in and straighten up the right leg. So the left one's going to hug in, the right one's going to lengthen. And just from here, we're going to take the right hand to the outer edge of the left knee and draw it across. Hopefully, I'm not on the mic. <laughs> All these technical things I'm, I'm not good at. We're going to open the left arm. If your knee is on the floor but you're rolling off your shoulder on the left hand side, just bring the knee in a little bit closer to the middle. As you want to keep the shoulders in contact with the floor. So just breathe. Be thankful that that, for that, that is over. I think I didn't speak today. And then we'll just come back in and we'll just switch it up. We're going to bring the right one in. And we're going to hold the outer edge of the knee and we're going to just gently bring it across. So I can hear some creaks and cracks in my spine anyway. <laughs> I don't know about you. And then just gently. We're going to hug the knees in. And then very gently, we're going to pop the feet to the floor. We're going to join the soles of the feet together and allow the knees to open. And we're going to just rest the hands on the belly if you like. Or away from the sides of the body. Shavasana. Or you can take the full Shavasana and let your legs lengthen out in front of you. What we want to find here is just resting both of the hands on the belly, if that's comfortable for you. And take a big inhale, feel your belly rise and your rib cage expand. And as you exhale, you're just going to softly let it go. Inhale, your belly lifts. Exhale, your belly falls, breathe out. And just try a couple of them yourself. Just 
Just notice how your body feels compared to the beginning of the class. And just tune in with your body and how you're feeling. So physically, energetically, and emotionally as well. Feel free to adjust your legs if you need to. And take this next minute just to completely let go. Just let go of any thoughts or worries right now. We'll always have thoughts and we'll always have worries. But just seeing if you can be aware that they're there, but not delving into them. Feel the power in the breath through the whole body. And just let your breath deepen now. You might wiggle the fingers, you might stretch your legs. You might be deciding you need to stretch. Or would you hug your knees down? Releasing your back. When it feels good, you're going to roll on to one side. And if it's good, you're going to just press up to sit. If you can, keep your eyes closed. Hands on the knees or thumb and make something together. Big and help from that. Let it go through the mat. Big inhale through the nose. Let it out through the mouth. Inhalation. Let it go. Breathe in a deep sense of thanks and gratitude to your body for everything you can do not focusing on what it can't do. Put the hands together, create some heat, some fire in your hands. And once they're warm, you're going to place them over your eyes. Hands with the heat, and the hands to the heart. And then everything you do for the rest of the week or weekend, Come from your heart. We join the thumbs to forehead is some peace. Towards the lips for gratitude and to the heart for love as we bow together. Well done, yogis. Thank you so much for joining me for week 15 and just for making it this far. You are awesome, and um, I just hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, and that your core was working hard. <laughs> I'm sure it was, well, we all definitely were working hard, and um, so well, big well done to you. And again, as I said, just for even making it this far through through each class, and um, I'm so grateful to have you guys along on the journey with me. All this new online journey so thank you so much like from the bottom of my heart like i really really mean it thank you um, and just let me know how you get on let me know instagram facebook email anything you name it i'll be there sending so much love and light to you all 
Take care. Bye.